Welcome to the Old Boar Plays City Skylines. This is a tutorial series for you to learn all about Railway 2 train networks. And in this video, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Railway 2 train networks. Why should you use Railway 2? The train tracks are more versatile realistic, and there's a host of assets that you can use in the game. I'm going to give you the very basics here because I want you to get started quickly, and I'll link to those in the description of the video. Step 1. Decide on the type of tracks you want by the country you're building cities in. North America, Switzerland, European Union, or Germany. The Iberian Peninsula is also included, which is Spain, Portugal, southern France, etc. The second decision you want to make is what kind of track you want to use, wooden or concrete. So the third step is to go to the Railway 2 collection page and subscribe to the mods that are listed. The most important is Railway Replacer. The other mods are very important and you'll need to subscribe to those. Loading Screen Mod, Network Tiling, Prop Rotating Params, Node Spacer, Adaptive Networks, and I suggest Move It, Network Multi-Tool, Node Controller Renewal, and Fine Road Anarchy. On the page, you'll need to choose a set of base props. Railway 2 Base Props American and Railway Base Props European. I've decided to use American, so that's going to be the example I give you. Step 4 is to select a main network pack. In my case, I'm choosing Railway 2 American Concrete Network Pack. Based on that pack will influence the other decisions you make. Step 5. Choose a catenary pack. I'm choosing the Railway 2 Pennsylvania Railroad catenary pack. That goes with the American tracks. Step 6. Choose a railway buffer set. There's only one available, those are the Swiss buffers, so choose it. Step 7. Choose a set of barriers. I'm choosing Railway Barriers American. Those go with the American tracks. Step 8. Choose a set of signals. Swiss is the only one available, so choose it. Step 9. Choose a set of lights. Swiss is the only one available, so the lights and the signals will come in if you use the Swiss tracks. Step 10. Choose a set of station tracks. I subscribe to Railway 2 American Concrete Station Pack Standard Entry. Those will do fine for you until you begin to put in other stations that require a high entry or an island station, etc. Step 11. Choose a train. This will be located on the Railway 2 USA Compatible Rolling Stock page and many other links that I'll put in the description. I've chosen the ALC42 Charger and Venture Amtrak Intercity 5 cars. Step 12 is load your game and in game you're going to press Shift, Alt, and P the same time, you will only have to do this once when you're setting up Railway 2. Here's where you're going to put in your catenaries and your other props. So drop down the menu. You can see I have others installed, but I'm going to put in Railway 2 USA Pennsylvania Railroad. You can see my props popped in on those tracks. Those are the catenaries. They carry wires so that your trains can run under them. For the others, we're going to select the same one, Railway 2 USA PRR.
and we'll do that all the way down this menu. Now for the signals, you want to put Swiss. For the short barrier, you're going to want to put American. For the buffers, you'll want to choose Swiss. These are for quad tracks, and we're going to choose the same, Pennsylvania Railroad. The mod creator hasn't been able to get the gantries working. Once he does, you'll be able to select gantries here. Now you have your railway replacer set up. So let's plop down some road and we'll put in a train station and I'll show you how to use this. We're gonna put in a regular train station. It's already highlighted. You can see that the railway station tracks are normal double. We're gonna choose Railway 2 USA Wired Gravel Concrete 2x2 two two standard entry ground level. That selects the track for your station. Every time you change stations, you're going to need to put in those tracks. We'll put in another piece of road in another station. I'm going to put in the West Haven station, two tracks. This has a high entry, so I want Railway 2 USA wired because I want the catenaries to come in. Gravel, concrete. Concrete is the set of train tracks that I chose over wooden. 2x2, two two, high entry, ground level. Elevated is indicated by an E, and island stations are indicated by SP. So now I'm going to connect up Railway 2 track. This is regular Railway 2 USA wired gravel concrete 2x2. Two two. You can see you have nodeless tracks here. We have one-way tracks. These are the dynamic procedural tracks. But you can see how to use those in the series. But I'm going to connect regular Railway 2. That's indicated by this blue icon here. That's noted. The little lightning bolt represents electricity or wired. You can see the different arrows here. That means these are two-way tracks. NEC stands for Northeast Corridor, which is Pennsylvania Railroad. C is for concrete. Railway 2 tells you what kind of track it is in USA because I've chosen American here. Now you'll need to put on Anarchy and Toggle Road Bending. And we're going to put in a piece of curved track here. I'm going to use the Freeform Track Tool. Now we have two stations set up with Railway 2. I'm going to create a new line here between these two stations. Now that I have my line created, you can go to Lines Overview. I'm going to name it Example. I have another mod installed called Improved Public Transport 2. I'm going to select type. I'm going to come down to the ALC42 Amtrak 5 car train. I'm going to shift click on this one until I see it in the vehicles queued. Now we'll unpause our game and we'll watch the train come out. Thank you for watching the old boar play City Skylines. 
Take care now.